What's up everyone, welcome back to the Outdoor Living YouTube channel. And today, I'm gonna be fishing for some surf perch off this pier back here. Yeah, so hopefully I can get on a few surf perch. I might even do a little catch and cook on the beach. So you guys stay tuned. I got some shrimp and I'm going to be using little pieces of this as bait. I'm going to go ahead and change it up a bit. I'm going to put a gulp sandworm on this rod and I'm going to, I have two hooks. So I'm going to leave one of them with shrimp and then I'm going to put a sandworm on the other. Maybe that'll help us get on one here. Please still be on there. Come on. There he is. He's on there. I just felt him bite it again. Got him. Got him. Yes. It's a big old surf perch. Big surf perch, guys. Yeah. That's a big red tail surf perch. Oh my gosh. That's the biggest red tail surf perch I've ever caught. On the sandworm. Look at that. Big old surf perch. That is like a giant surf perch. Oh my gosh. Check this out. Biggest surf perch I've ever caught. That is crazy. He bit on the sandworm too. He bit on the sandworm. I'm going to change both of them to sandworm. And also, I'm keeping this guy. But look how big that slab is. That's a slab. I took this guy down and hopefully do a little catch and cook on this beach by this pier here. And that'll be good, but first I'm going to keep fishing, see if I can get on some more perch. Okay, so I'm taking my perch down and to find a little tide pool to put him in so he stays fresh because I didn't bring any anything that I could keep him on to keep him fresh and I don't want him to get all hot from the sun or anything. Yeah, I'll go right down there and put him down in there. Perfect little tide pool right here to set my perch in and let him bleed out. Surf perch, another nice one, guys. What kind is this? Another red tail, it looks like. Perch, not as big as the first, but that's still a nice sized one. As soon as it hit the water, I know where the school of them are now. That's a nice one. Nice. Sweet, there's our two perch guys. This one, the first one was a little bit bigger. It's like he has a really tall back. It's a lot of meat on this guy. And that one too is still pretty big. So those are gonna cook up real good. Basically there's these rocks right there as you guys can see. And then all in here, it's pretty shallow in there. And then it starts to get deeper as you come out and I'm casting right on that line of where these rocks kind of stop and it starts to get deeper. But I'm not casting too far out. I tried out there and didn't get any bites, but like right on the edge of the shallow and the deep is where I'm getting them right now. Oh, it's a little guy. How did that little guy make that rod do that, man? Thought well. I'm gonna toss this one back. This one's a bit too small for me. A little red tail surf perch. All right, later, buddy. Oh, that was belly flop. Cast it right back out in that same spot. Guys. Another surf perch. This one's a little bit better. This one might be a keeper. Man, these surf perch are starting to... Starting to fight. To bite a lot better. Oh, this one's a little bit bigger than the last. I could keep him. Um, I'm going to keep this guy. This one's a decent one they all keep biting on the one sandworm that's bit in half by one of the other ones so it's like a tiny piece maybe they're like a little bit smaller piece of it 
All right, guys, the fishing has really slowed down. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my fish, take him down to this beach, and cook up a little lunch. All right, guys, I'm gonna be cooking my surf perch on this beach over here. Check this out, I have this whole thing to myself. Whole entire beach. I'm gonna be cooking it in this little cove right over in here. And uh, yeah, so today I got four surf perch. Only kept the three biggest ones. And I also got that one jumbo perch. Thing was huge, so I'm gonna go ahead and fillet up one of them and cook them up. Check out how big that surf perch is. That is a huge surf perch. Wow, look at that thing. It's a beast surf perch. And then I got two others that aren't bad sized either. They're not too bad sized. They've still got good size to them. So yeah, I'm only gonna uh, cook up one of them. I think I'll cook up this big, big one and then I'm gonna save the others for um, later. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and fillet this guy up and we'll get our stove set up and then we'll cook him up. Bam. Two nice perch fillets. And I'm actually going to save this carcass to put in my crab trap. So yeah, I'm gonna go rinse these guys off in the ocean right down there. Then I'll bring it back up and we'll get to cooking. All right guys, I got the fish all rinsed off and in a baggie. And to season it, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I brought some of this uh, barbecue seasoning, barbecue garlic seasoning. I'm just gonna dump a little bit of it into the fish bag and then shake it around so that seasoning gets all over the fish. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, just like you're breading the fish, except there's not as much, and so it won't get completely covered in the fish, it'll just coat it evenly. Just shake it around a little, move it around. And then I'm just gonna let it sit in here until my stove is ready. All right, guys, we got our stove all lit. And now I have these little packs of coconut oil. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here, let it melt down, and then we'll put the fish on top of that. Oil's nice and hot. Now we're just gonna lay our cook fillets right in there. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's a big fillet just from a surf perch. Good. All right, guys, I'm, it's starting to curl up, so I'm going to go ahead and flip it now. It's looking done, guys. Looks delicious. Skin just peels right off there. Looks like so. Super white meat. Looks really good. It's time to try some of this perch. Look at that. Smoking. I mean, it's super flavorful, guys. It, it doesn't have as much as like a flaky flavor as like a rockfish would. It has more of like a kind of like a not like mushy, but like kind of just like melts in your mouth. The seasoning definitely goes really well with it though. The saltiness of like the fish from the salt water and I had it in the salt water bag of water and it just makes a really good combination. I feel like this would be a perfect fish to put on a sandwich. There's nothing like cooking it fresh though. Mm -mm -mm. Nice bite of perch right there guys. Has like a little bit of a crust from that oil. Mmm, that is delicious. That crust with the fish is so good. Man, that fish was delicious. There's nothing like cooking it right out here. It's so good. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel.
I'll do more catching cooks if you guys want to see that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.